Hello everyone and welcome to our fourth lecture in phonetics and phonology. Uh, in our previous lecture, we talked about articulatory phonetics. Uh, we discussed the classification of consonants and we said that um, we classify consonants according to three criteria. And these criteria are the place or point of articulation, um, which is the location of the active articulator that function um, alone or with other articulators in producing sounds. The second criterion is the manner of articulation. وحكينا إنه هذا التصنيف بيوصف نوع الإعاقة أو إعاقة الهواء أو نوع الانسداد في مجرى الهواء. والثالث كريتيريون was voicing. وحكينا إنه according to this criterion, English sounds or English consonants are classified into voiced and voiceless. تمام. And then we uh, we discussed um, uh, the place of articulation in detail. وحكينا إنه um, according to this criterion عنا um, uh, nine types of uh, consonants. Uh, في عنا bilabial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, or palatoalveolar, or palatal, or velar, or glottal. وحكينا إيش كل واحدة منهم معناها ومين هم الأصوات اللي بينتموا لهذه المجموعة. Then we moved on to talk about the manner of articulation اللي هو المعيار الثاني في تصنيف ال consonants. وحكينا according to this um, uh, criterion ال consonants بينقسموا ل مجموعات وهي Plosives or stops, or fricative or affricates, nasals, laterals, trills, and glides. In our last lecture, our previous lecture, we discussed plosives, and today we're going to continue talking about plosives. So in our last lecture, we discussed the plosive p, and today we're going to continue. Let's start with our lecture. Now, let's have a look at our second plosive, which is B. So, B is articulated exactly like P. حكينا in our previous lecture that P is articulated with the two lips. كيف إنه بيصير إغلاق كلي لمجرى الهواء? The air stream is completely obstructed. بيتم إعاقة مجرى الهواء بشكل كامل. أو تيار الهواء اللي جاي من الرئتين at a specific point أو at a particular point before it's released هو في النهاية تيار الهواء يتم إخراجه ولكن في نقطة معينة من during the production of this sound تيار الهواء بيكون حركته معاقة تماما ما بسبب انطباق الشفتين على بعض طيب حكينا إنه يتم إعاقة مجرى الهواء بسبب كلوجر إغلاق وهذا الإغلاق بيصير بسبب انطباق الشفتين على بعض وهذا الانطباق بيعمل لي صوتين اللي هما P و B تمام حكينا في P إنها voiceless sound صح إنه ال vocal cords they don't vibrate during the the production of P ولكن في B, which is this plosive, the vocal cords vibrate, producing voice. So we can describe B as voiced by labial plosive. Okay, now let's have a look at the spelling of B. B ممكن يكون لسبلنج تبعتها 1B في كلمات زي beer أو tobacco أو tub أو it's represented by double B. Uh, like um, in words like rubber, tamam? And also B is silent in some words like uh, tam, uh, lam, and plumber. Tam, lam, and plumber, tamam? Now let's talk about the distribution of B. 
where it occurs in a sum in a word. It occurs initially in words like pe like bin, or medially in words like rubber, and uh, finally in words like tub. Now uh, let's see the allophonic variants of uh, B, and we mentioned in our previous lectures that um, aloph an allophone is the different pronunciations of the same phoneme. هي لفظ مختلف للفونيم الواحد وحكينا إن sound B يعتبر فونيم in English و and we also discussed why it is a phoneme وعرفنا إيش هو الفونيم مزبوط الآن ال different pronunciations لهذا الفونيم الفونيم بنسميها allophonic variant تمام our first allophonic variant let's have a look B is nasally released when it's immediately followed by ma. حكينا um, sorry ba is nasally released when it's immediately followed by ma. Um, if you remember from our previous lecture, a nasal release is the release of a plosive into a nasal um, sound. أنا بطلع ال الهواء الصوت أو ال الهواء تبع الصوت اللي بلوسيف من نيزل ساوند uh, كيف uh, بيتم حكينا أثناء النيزل ريليس the soft palate uh, is lowered down uh, and this means that the nasal cavity is open so the puff of air leaves uh, the body through the nasal cavity or through the nose وهنا في أمثلة زي سبميت و سبمارين ب um, um, oh, is, uh, B comes um, before ma. The letter ma comes before ma, and um, this makes uh, B nasalized. Oh, this means that B is nasally released. يعني بيطلع الهواء تبع ال B مع ال M من nasal cavity. So submit or submarine. So instead of um, uh, moving the active articulator بدل ما إنه الشفتين اللي هما الاكتيف articulator في نطق البي يتحركوا وينفصلوا عن بعض لا بيتم اللو uh, uh, السوفت بالات بتنزل لتحت فبتفتح النيزل كافيتي فالهواء بدل ما يطلع من الفم بيطلع من الأنف تمام؟ Now, another allophone for B is that in RP, um, and this means received pronunciation, and we said in our very first lecture that uh, received pronunciation or RP is the variety of English that we're going to focus on in this book. So in RP, B is devoiced when it occurs initially and finally. What's the meaning of devoiced here? It means that B loses its um, voiced features. Hakina in no B is a voiced plosive, but when it occurs initially or finally, it loses this feature. It becomes devoiced. Yani ka in it becomes voiceless. And uh, devoicing is represented bin almu or bin بنعبر عنه with a diacritic a diacritic means علامة صوتية this uh, small circle yeah under the simple concern تحت الصوت اللي هو devoiced تحت البي أو جنبها بالضبط okay now uh, the third allophonic variant is that B is not released audibly when it occurs finally and when it's immediately followed by another plosive or affricate, just like what we did with P. So هنا B لما بتيجي بآخر الكلمة أو immediately followed by another plosive or affricate لا تسمع في الكلام ليش لأنه بصير release لل uh, لل airstream. إحنا حكينا الحرف بسمعه أنا لما يصير عندي إخراج للهواء بس أنا ما بيصير أنا لما أحكي طب وأسكت ما يكونش في بعدها كلام يخليني أطلع الهواء 
البي بتصير مش اوديبل مش مسموعه سو توب توب ذيس از ا فاينل بوزيشن طب هنا سبجكت سبجكت هنا اتس فولود باي ان ان افريكيت اللي هي ال جا تمام فهنا بتكون نوت اوديبل Also in obtain it's um, before another plosive اللي هو التا obtain 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 تمام so ال B is not audible لأنه وراها على طول في plosive uh, ما تمش ما انفصلوش الشفتين عن بعض عشان يطلعوا ال air stream و ويبين لفظ الحرف طيب our third um, plosive is ta. Now, the third plosive is t, or ta, sorry. So, ta is articulated by tip or blade of the tongue, making هذه الجزء المقدمة اللسان, making a firm contact against the teeth ridge. Teeth ridge is the alveolar ridge. So, the tip or blade of the tongue, مقدمة اللسان, يعني بتطبق أو بتنطبق على ال teeth ridge أو ال alveolar ridge تمام وبرضو at the same time هنا في more than two articulators involved إذا عنا أول إشي the tip or blade of the tongue مع ال alveolar ridge و also the soft palate is raised is raised raised And also, this means it blocks the nasal passage of air. The soft palate ترتفع للأعلى وبتسكر النيزل passage. الآن, when the tip or blade of the tongue is released from the teeth ridge, the alveolar ridge, لما بي بيروحوا أو بنفك مقدمة اللسان عن the alveolar ridge, the air that is compressed by pressure from the lungs الهواء اللي هو عبارة عن ضغط طالع من الرئتين escapes with an explosive as a voiceless alveolar plosive بيطلع الهواء ك like a puff of air وبنوصفه بانه voiceless alveolar plosive اذا بنعرف انه T voiceless اذا ال vocal cords don't vibrate while pronouncing ta is and we can describe ta as a voiceless alveolar plosive now the spelling of ta ta in words or in english uh, spelling is represented by the letters the letter t ta t as in t also at we train and cut In addition, the past tense marker, the ed, in the past simple, is pronounced ta when the present tense for form ends in a voiceless consonant other than ta. Also, the ed tulfaz ta in the end of the past tense. If the verb is the first verb, the first verb of this past tense, it ends with a voiceless consonant. other than T or there is يعني, an easier um, uh, way to, to learn this متى احنا بنلفظ ال um, ED على انها تا I'll uh, explain now let's have a look okay here are the cases um, When we uh, pronounce uh, the past tense marker ed as ta, so uh, when the present tense form of the verb ends in the following sounds, لما تكون صيغة الفعل المضارع للفعل تنتهي بهذه الأصوات واحد من هدول الستة. إذا أنا لما أزيد ed على هذا الصوت أو على هذا الفعل بصير لفظ ed هو ت. مثلاً فعل زي laugh ينتهي بالصوت فا لاحظوا إنه هي this is uh, this sequence is pronounced فا it's a gh pronounced as فا so laugh when we add ed 
we pronounce the ed or the past tense marker as ta. So we say laughed. So laughed as the past tense of laugh. The same here with p. Drop, dropped, dropped. Um, verbs that end in ka say talk, talked, talked. Verbs that end in sa as in press, pressed, pressed. Sha as in wash, betir fil madi, washed. Cha as in watch, betir fil madi, watched. Okay, I hope it's clear now. Let's continue. Now, the, the distribution of ta, let's have a look at the distribution. So, ta can occur initially um, as in tell, uh, medially as in obtain, and finally as in pat. Tamam, now let's see the allophonic variants, and I think now you know what allophonic variants uh, mean. Tamam. Okay, the first one, T is aspirated when it occurs initially in a stressed syllable. And we discussed the meaning of aspiration in our previous lecture. Hakina inno aspiration, my T means inno. The T is pronounced with a strong puff of air. And when does this happen? It happens when T uh, occurs initially in a stressed syllable. لما بتصير بتكون موجودة بأول مقطع على ستريس هنا كلمة تاب تاب التي جاية في أول كلمة إذا it's aspirated تاب بعدين attain attain جاية at the beginning of a syllable اللي هو attain والسيلابل هذا على ستريس بعدين potato potato تمام جاية at the beginning of a syllable على stress حكينا accented اللي هو this one تي تي is a stressed syllable وحكينا last time إنه هذه المارك الصغيرة هي علامة الستريس في الكلمة وتي جاية at the beginning of a stressed syllable so it's aspirated تمام and if you remember we discussed potato in uh, P in the pronunciation, in the uh, variants of the phoneme P, و حكينا إنه هي ما بيصيرش عليها aspiration إذا كانت في مقطع not accented, مش stressed. وهنا فعلا الكلمة الستريس الموجود فيها موجود على المقطع الثاني هنا مش موجود على المقطع الأول. لذلك ال P, ال P في أول الكلمة ما ما صارش عليها aspiration. ليش؟ لأنها جاية في مقطع ما عليهوش ستريس. طيب let's move on. Okay now um, the phoneme is also or can also be unaspirated. How? So ta is unaspirated when it's preceded by sa. لما تكون مسبوقة بالsound sa. And when it occurs in an unaccented syllable. We said that unaccented means unstressed. مقطع ما عليهوش ستريس طيب ليتس سي الان في كلمه ستين تي او كمز افتر ان اس او مسبوقه ب اس لذلك اتس ان اسبيريتد تمام وهنا نفس الحاجه ستام وبرد وهنا باتر موجوده التي في ان اكسنتد سيلابل شايفين هنا الاكسنت او الستريس موجوده على المقطع الاول با المقطع الثاني ما عليهوش ستريس ومن ضمنه او هو في بدايته موجود التي اذا التي ان اسبيريتد وذا سيم هي كمبيوتر كمبيوتر هنا اتس ان اسبيريتد ليه لانها جزء من مقطع غير ان ستريس المقطع اللي ستريست هنا هو هذا يو كمبيوتر كمبيو المقطع الاخير اللي فيه تا از ان ستريس تمام اذا التي او التا سوري ان ذيز فور وردز از ان اسبيريتد ناو ذا ثيرد الوفون تا از نيزلي ريليزد وين اتس اميديتلي فولود باي نا وحكينا ايش هو النيزل ريليس اتس ذا ريليس اوف ا بلوسيف ساوند 
into a nasal sound ليش بصير هذا الاشي؟ لانه ال soft palate is low is lower down اثناء ما بيكونوا ال articulators منطبقين على بعض بتنزل ال lower ال soft palate ف it opens the nasal passage and this means that the obstructed air can escape uh, through the mouth الهواء اللي كان محبوس اثناء الارتيكيوليشن بيطلع من خلال الماوث او بيطلع من النيزل كافيتي التي مرات بتكون نيزل ريليست لما تكون مطبوعه بنا زي مين كلمات كوتن وبوتن كوتن وبوتن if you see هنا التا ساوند مع النا وهان التا والنا they are يعني immediately after each other in this case التا مطبوعة بنا nasal sound وفي هذه الحالة التا بيتم it's released nasally من الأنف cotton button تمام uh, the fourth case أو the fourth allophone تا is laterally released when it is immediately followed by لا برضو بصير عليها lateral release وهنا بدنا نحكي عن ال lateral release نعرفه before let's uh, define what a lateral, a lateral release is so what is a lateral release well lateral release is the release of a plosive consonant into a lateral consonant okay تشبه ال nasal release uh, the release of a plosive consonant into a nasal consonant هنا نفس الاشي ال plosive consonant is followed by a, a, a lateral consonant we discussed in our second lecture that uh, lateral sounds in English include uh, la okay so هنا a plosive consonant اللي هو التا is followed by a lateral consonant اللي هو الا this is the plosive ta and the lateral la in this case when the plosive ta is followed by a lateral la immediately followed by lateral la then um, instead of making two separate contacts um, I mean instead of the tongue making two separate contacts with the alveolar ridge بدل ما يعمل um, مرتين يعمل articulation مع الالفيولار ريدج مرة للتا ومرة لللا بيعملها مرة واحدة بدل المرتين فلما بيصير انه الارتيكيوليشن مرة واحدة التا is released into the لا so it becomes بطل 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 تمام I hope it's clear يعني الصوت التا بحكيش بوتل أو بوتل لا بوتل إنه على طول نفس ال articulation عملته وطلعت التاء من مخرج أو مع لا أوكي أوكي let's continue أوكي now back to our um, allophonic variants حكينا إنه تا is laterally released when it's immediately followed by لا. So we discussed the word bottle and now we have little and cattle. Little and cattle. The same way. تا is um, um, released into لا. Why? Again برضو لإنه بصير اللسان بدل ما يعمل two separate contacts مع الالفيولار ريدج مع اللثة بدل ما يعمل two separate contacts واحدة للتا وواحدة لللا بيعملها مرة واحدة and تا is released into لا طيب the next allophonic variant is that تا او سوري تا is not released audibly when it occurs finally in a word and when it's immediately followed by another plosive or affricate similar to what we discussed in um, Pa and ba. So now it ta when it uh, occurs finally, it's not uh, released audibly. Cut. Notice, cut. Because it's finally or fish بعدها there is nothing. يعني after this ta, 
so the path of air is not released here. طيب the same when it's uh, followed by um, another plosive or when it's uh, it occurs before another plosive. They mean el ba. We discussed ba. So in wa in a word like football, 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 football. So el ba is not uh, sorry. El ta is not uh, released. Aw is not released audibly. In a word like this. Uh, this phrase, sorry, el ta occurs before an affricate. Min affricate hena, le huwa cha. So, in that church, that church. So, hena, el ta is not audible. That church, this ta. Because it's um, followed by an, uh, an affricate or it comes before an affricate. Will Africa to watch this sound, the T and this symbol? And later we're going to study what Africans are. Type now, uh, our fourth plosive is da. So da is articulated exactly like ta. Okay, it's the same as ta, except that during the articulation of da, the vocal cords vibrate. Hakena in no feta el vocal cords don't vibrate. Wahakena itta in her voiceless. Tamam, walakin fitta the vocal cords vibrate, which um, means that the da is described as a voiced alveolar plosive. Da voiced. Which means the vocal the vocal cords vibrate, and again how we articulate the uh, it's articulated uh, when the tongue makes a firm contact uh, with the alveolar ridge. The lesson be be amal articulation firm one, ثابت أو اتباق تماما أو تسكير تام مع ال alveolar ridge مع اللثة. At the same time, uh, the soft palate is raised, and so it blocks the nasal cavity or nasal passage of the air. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now let's have a look at the spellings of uh, da. So in English, da is represented by um, letters uh, d in words like dog, and good, and also it's represented by um, the letters double D as in words like rudder. Okay, now the distribution of, of D or, or sorry of DA and where it occurs. Well, it occurs initially in words like day and medially in works in words like modest and finally in words like bad. Okay, now the allophonic variants. Well, the first one is that D is released here. This word should be nasally. Okay, um, uh, correct this, please. Uh, da is released nasally when it is it's immediately followed by na. Because na is a nasal sound. And we discussed this in um, our pr previous plosives. Okay. In words, for example, like sudden and gladden, uh, the da and da in these two words are followed by na. And we said na is a nasal sound. We discussed what a nasal release is, so I don't think we um, need to repeat this again here. So sudden, gladden. D, oh, sorry, da is nasally released. The second allophonic variant, um, da is released, and here, instead of nasally, you should uh, correct it to laterally. So, da is released laterally when it's immediately followed by la. Yeah, because la is a lateral sound, and we, we've just discussed uh, lateral release, right? I don't think we also need to um, repeat all of this again. So it's riddle and bridle. 
sorry, riddle and bridle. Riddle and bridle. Tamam. So that here and here um, are released into la, into a lateral sound. Leila and no, they are followed directly uh, by this sound. Now the third allophone, da is not released audibly when it occurs finally and when it's immediately uh, followed by another plosive or affricate, just like what we did with ta. Da ma ma tusla tusma when it occurs finally and when it's immediately followed la maiji baadha ala tool another plosive or affricate. Let's see some examples. Now good. Notice good. So خلينا لما لفظنا good وسكتنا ال ال articulation ما نفكش ما صارش في release لل puff of air تمام طيب هنا it's followed by another plosive اللي هو الب تمام الدا is followed by ب فهنا لا تسمع لي بسبب هذا ال ال case Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. Tamam, followed by another plosive. Ohina, good jam, good jam. It's followed by an affricate. The affricate hina li huwa ja. It dam al this simple. Good jam. Tamam. And let's um, uh, look at the this final note. Um, it says most Indians substitute retroflex plosive ta and da for the English alveolar plosive ta and da. What does this mean? Hakena inno ta and da are produced um, by the articulation. Of the tongue with the alveolar ridge. صح هذا جزء من the pronunciation. غير إنه the soft palate بترتفع وبتسكر النيزل passage. بس أنا لما بصير articulation لللسان مع the alveolar ridge بتكون اللسان the tip of the tongue is pointing outward. بتكون اتجاهها لبرا الفم. Try مثلا saying the words dad or tell for example اللي سان عادي ممتد إلى الأمام it's it points forward ولكن إيش بيعملوا ال Indians الهنديين في كلامهم بيعملوا retroflex plosive إيش يعني retroflex بيعملوا زي curl في ال في sound زي لفة أو تجعيدة أو إيش اللي بصير إنه بصير اللسان زي بصير زي بيلفو بالتف so it it points inward بتصير اتجاه اللسان the tip of the tongue جوا لسانهم بي بيأشر كيف they would say I told you I told you أو مثلا I did it I did it Uh, try to to curl your tongue. How will it تعمل زي تجعيدة أو لفة باللسان بحس ي يصير يأشر لورا لجوا ال الفم وبيطلع الصوت. And if you can't do it, you can Google it. You can just write how Indians pronounce T or D T or D. So I told you I'll do it. They pronounce it like, يعني something like this. Okay, let's move on. Time now. Let's have a look at our fifth plosive, which is ka. So how is ka articulated? So during the articulation of ka, the back of the tongue makes a firm contact with the soft palate. Try, for example, pronouncing um, a word like kite. Kite. The back of the tongue, الجزء الخلفي من اللسان, makes a firm contact. يتصل بشكل مباشر بالsoft palate. 
تمام وحكينا مين هي السوفت بالت اتس ذا الجزء الخلفي من من سقف اللسان تمام سو اند ذا سوفت بالت اي ال كونتينيو ذا سوفت بالت از ريزد ترتفع and this means the nasal passage is closed okay and the air which is compressed الهواء المكون من ضغط خارج من الرئتين بيطلع او is released with an explosive sound when the back of the tongue is released from the soft palate الهواء طالع من الرئتين يتم اخراجه او بيهرب من الفم لما ال ال back of the tongue is released from the soft palate تمام again the production of كي كيف بتصير إنه the back of the tongue makes a firm contact with the soft palate الجزء الخلفي من اللسان بينطبق على the soft palate وat the same time the soft palate is raised ترتفع which means the nasal passage of the air is closed تمام طيب الآن في مرحلة أو في نقطة معينة من هذا الارتيكيوليشن بيكون الهواء مجرى الهواء مسدود الهواء ما بيطلع Once إنه التنج والسوفت بالت are released بمجرد ما ينفصل التنج عن السوفت بالت بيطلع الباف of air اللي هو عبارة عن ضغط جاي من اللنجز وبيطلع بيخرج عن طريق الفم Okay, and during this process, the vocal cords don't vibrate, which means K is voiceless. It's a voiceless velar plosive. وحكينا velar comes from the word velum. وvelum لأنه حكينا a soft palate is also called velum. تمام. طيب spellings of K. K is represented by the letter K, as in the word book. وبرضو the letter C as in cut music و the letter C H as in character و the letter C K as in back و C C as in account and uh, Q U E as in check okay check طيب the distribution of K where it occurs in a word It occurs initially as in calm, medially as in reckon, and finally as in like. تمام? And notice that the word like has this letter at the end, the E. بس الساوند الأخير اللي لفظناه هو مين? كا, like. يعني in pronunciation كأنه الإي مش موجودة. Okay, now allophonic variants. Different pronunciations la el phoneme k. Number one, k is aspirated when it occurs initially in a stressed syllable. I think this is now easier. بصير لها aspiration لما تيجي بأول الكلمة وتكون ب stressed syllable. زي مين captain. Captain هنا k is aspirated. وحكينا this mark represents or shows aspiration. وهنا كيت كيت اوكي يعني we try to make a strong puff of air when it occurs initially or in a stressed syllable طيب كا is unaspirated after سا and in uh, um, and in unaccented syllables برضو the same as يعني the other vowels لما بتيجي uh, بعد سا it's not aspirated skin تمام ولما بتيجي بمقطع unaccented زي كنال كنال هنا المقطع اللي عليه ستريس هو الثاني نال المقطع الأول كنال تمام فا it's not aspirated لأنها موجودة in an unaccented syllable let's continue طيب now the last plosive is جا And it's articulated exactly like ka. Ah, hakina ka el articulation of ka in the back of the tongue makes a firm contact with the soft palate. 
and at the same time the soft palate is raised um, so this means that the nasal passage is closed um, or at, يعني, at a particular at some point um, during this articulation بيكون مجرى الهوى مسدود تماما وبصير puff of air لما بخرج الهوى لما the back of the tongue uh, is released from the soft palate لما ينفصل الجزء الخلفي من اللسان عن soft palate يخرج the puff of air through the mouth وبنسمع الصوت جا Okay, and also during this articulation, the vocal cords vibrate, which means uh, ga is a voiced velar plosive. Hakina velar comes from the word velum. Okay, spellings of ga, عنا, uh, the letter G as in get, glory, ubag. With the letters G, G, or double G as in baggage and luggage. Okay? So, we've reached the end of our lecture. Um, I hope everything is clear. And if you do have any questions, please uh, take notes. Um, and we can discuss everything in our next Zoom lecture. Uh, see you then. Um, and thank you and have a nice day.